Are we gonna die? You know what, Bieber? We might die. Another asteroid named 2006QQ23 is passing close by Earth on August 10th. But is it gonna hit us? If something the size of this asteroid hits the Earth, it could devastate a statewide area. So stick close with me, cause I'm gonna tell everything that you need to know about this event. And do you also sometimes confuse between asteroids, meteors and comets? Then watch the video till the end because I'm going to tell some quick facts about these ginormous space rocks. And don't forget to subscribe the video and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates whenever we post a new video. Let's get started. On August 10th, asteroid 2006QQ23 will fly within 4.6 million miles of Earth at about 10,400 miles per hour. This might not seem close, but it is close enough to classify the object as a near Earth asteroid. Additionally, because it is within 4.6 million miles, it is close enough to be labeled as potentially hazardous. The space rock measures about 1,870 feet in diameter, which is greater than the height of the Empire State Building, which stands 1,454 feet tall. Now, while it might seem unnerving that a potentially hazardous asteroid about the size of a landmark building is coming close to Earth, we shouldn't worry about the rock crashing into our planet. As asteroids decrease in size, they become more frequent, but our atmosphere typically burns the smaller ones out. That doesn't mean they can't do some damage, though in 2013, a meteor 55 feet in diameter broke through the Earth's atmosphere over Russia. Though there wasn't an impact, the blast still injured more than 1000 people. So tell me in the comments, do asteroids scare you? Are you from those people who are worry free? Because if However, any asteroid crash onto our Earth, what can we do? Or are you from the rest of the people who get scared because all this talk of asteroids keep you awake at night? Drop your views down below. NASA tracks comets and asteroids that we are close to Earth, not because they are imminent threats, but rather to ensure that they do not become threats. Every year, about six space objects about the size of asteroid 2006 QQ23 pass by Earth making this close approach a routine event. Currently, there are about 900 near-Earth objects measuring more than 3,280 feet, much larger than asteroid 2006QQ23 in our solar system, according to NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies. So no, it is not anything to worry about. It's actually pretty normal. And besides, we've got our heroes to save us if something like this ever happened. Okay, jokes apart. Now while NASA doesn't think that an asteroid will crash into Earth anytime soon, the agency does monitor near-Earth objects and both NASA and other space agencies are developing efforts to deflect asteroids if they threaten to impact our planet. If however, an asteroid was coming toward Earth that posed a threat and the agency had enough warning and capability, NASA would launch a space campaign to deflect the asteroid onto a different path. Now it's time for some quick facts about asteroids, comets and meteors. Number 1. NASA estimates a football field size asteroids collides with our planet once every 2000 years or so. Number 2. A car sized asteroid hits the earth on average at least once a year. Number 3. Some of the bigger rocks in the asteroid belt can be as large as 583 miles across. Number 4. As icy comets fly around the solar system, their outer layers sublimate in the sun's heat and leave behind a glowing trail. Number 5. A meteor that survives the fiery descent through Earth's atmosphere is known as a meteorite. So that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video then press the like button to keep me motivated. And if you want to engage with me more outside the YouTube, then follow me on Instagram where we can chat for hours and talk about all the fascinating space stuff. And you can also give me suggestions for new video topics. I will see you next time.